Hi, Joan Birch with Life's Big Moments, and today I want to talk to you about being a warrior. Now, I did talk about warrior a while back in a video where I was talking about my husband's oncologist, so I hope you saw that video. But I'm going to talk about it a little differently in this video. So, first of all, be a warrior for a cause. If there is a cause you believe in, if there is a change that you think really needs to happen, you have to step up to that. You need to be the warrior for that cause. One cause I've been a warrior for since 1990 is for administrative training and development. When I started my company, Office Dynamics International, in 1990, companies were not investing in professional development for their assistants. And if they did, it was a one day little pump you up seminar that was $99. But they didn't want to put any meat behind it and make any big investment. But I was a warrior. I saw a huge gap. And I've been fighting that fight ever since. And I have made a huge dent. It's something I believe in. So what do you believe in? That you need to take up that sword and, and really be out there and promote that and not give up. Another aspect of being a warrior is protecting ourselves. So if you think about a warrior, and I'm thinking of one that has a shield and that, that outfit, that iron suit on, that protects them from evil forces. Well, we have to have an invisible shield as well. We have to have that coverage over us. We have to protect ourselves from evil talk, when people cut us up or put us down, maybe someone has uh, said something you know, in your family that has really hurt you. We have to protect ourselves from people who guide us down the wrong path. In the workplace, they think they're giving us good advice, but they're really taking us down the wrong path. So you better check out all your information. We have to protect ourselves uh, from bad news, for example, like the economy. If we read about the economy is going down the tubes, then all of a sudden we start to panic, then we don't spend money, then we actually create that very thing that we just read about. So we have to protect ourselves from the evils of the news because they'll suck us in and they'll make us feel bad and we won't want to do things. I hope you get the point. There are a lot of places that you can have on that warrior outfit. And I want to encourage you to do that, to step forth for what you believe in. If you like this message, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay connected with me on Facebook and LinkedIn. Remember, as women, together, we will live our big life.